Uh, Dr. Thin Man Watts uh, Noble was a noted uh, saxophonist, musician. He was a, uh, a DeLand resident. He grew up here. He went on to FAMU, Florida A&M University in Tallahassee, and he was classmates with the legendary Cannonball Adderley and his brother, Nat Adderley. Uh, so, yeah, he was significant. If you, uh, if you Google uh, Noble Watts, you'll find quite a bit. His improvisation, uh, his, his, his keying of, of notes, his understanding of music helped shape jazz uh, as we know it. In 2004, we had the first uh, Dr. Noble Thin Man Watts Jazz Fest. On that day, we actually named the amphitheater in his honor, and he was here present on that day. Unfortunately, he did pass away uh, two months later. But the founders of the museum, Reverend Maxwell Johnson and his wife, Irene D. Johnson, wanted a place where the community to come and listen to jazz as well as come and visit our museum, which is open uh, during the week for, our, you know, for the community. Noble was important to the land uh, because, of course, he grew up here and so his family uh, uh, had roots here. And uh, he left and had this uh, significant career, and he came back. So it's his home. He's important to the land because here, here's our native son who's, who, whose work is around the world. But being a native of the land, it, it gives us the, uh, the proud uh, opportunity to say that we have one of our own who helped influence jazz. When he moved back to the land, I saw him at the store one day, and I told him that I was a saxophonist, and he said, why don't you come over to my home, and I'll show you some licks. So I did. I, I, uh, I was really impressed that he took the time to do that. I went over to his house, and I still, I still know those riffs today. <laughs> Well, I think Noble Watch is very important to the land because of his legacy. Mm -hmm. If you notice, he has played with some of the greatest musicians throughout the world. So really for the land to have someone of that notoriety, that puts his impact on his importance as a human being and to the community. If you love our family street and boys, you know just what I'm talking about. I was, uh, was privileged this year to do the uh, artwork and poster design for the Thin Man Watts uh, Jazz Festival. I hope this festival uh, opens the windows and opens doors for people who've never experienced the jazz, who haven't uh, been to a concert, have the opportunity to come to hear some of the local and great talent, you know, and that it continues and also it opens people's minds and expands their horizons. What we really want to accomplish here isn't just having um, a music festival. We do want to do that, but that is just a means to getting people together. And you see it is doing. If there's nothing better to bring uh, people together than music, I don't know what it is. We do need more people that are from the land to come back to the land and put that impact here. There's a lot of talented people here in the land. And they need, they need to see, hey, no, but that man wants to make it, so why can't I? And we are here to give the support and show them that you can be world famous if you just try.